Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. On our way up to the storage yard today, unfortunately as you can see by the thumbnail, um, we've had uh, an intruder up at the storage yard uh, who's done away with not only our leisure battery but uh, a few of the other people there as well. Now, um, they have caused some damage, um, not only to the caravan doors, um, but they've also, um, on some of them, they've actually um, snipped the wires um, you know where the terminals connect to the battery um, we didn't come off as bad actually I, I mean if I, you know if, if there is such a thing um, we have quick release uh, battery terminals so all they've done is they just flipped them up took the battery out and made off with it um, our door to the um, battery locker um, the little lock that comes up uh, behind uh, the door uh, the end of ours was broken off so the door just flipped open that I've already replaced I replaced that the same day because I actually had one spare um, but I'll show you that when we get up there so we've got a new battery um, and that is all thanks to a gentleman called Roger or Rog as I know him um, Venomator you'll find him on Twitter you'll find him on YouTube He's a really nice guy, um, you know, please, you know, in the description down below or go to his channel, uh, you know, and give him a lot of love. He was a really nice fella, really nice fella. And, um, you know, I can't thank you enough, Rog. Um, as far as I can make out and as far as I'm aware, that battery's not that old. He put it on his, um, excuse me, I'm just gonna look at the roundabout. Uh, he put it on his caravan uh, and had it on his caravan for about three months, I think he said. Uh, and then uh, went over to lithium batteries, I'm sure that's what he put on. Um, so he had no use for it and it had been sat in his garage on trickle charge and you know he'd looked after it and everything. Um, so now I'm the proud owner of uh, Venomator's uh, battery. I offered him money for it, I offered him you know, and he said no, didn't want it. He was quite happy to donate it to the channel, um, you know, which I think is really good of him. Um, <clears throat> Um, and uh, you know we're going to make full use of it I'll be honest we have actually bought a new battery um, and that was before I actually knew that uh, Roger was going to donate the battery so that turned up yesterday so what we're going to do is I'm on my way to the storage yard like I said I'm going to go up there I'm going to speak to the storage lady and I'm going to find out who is in need of that battery and what I mean by that is is depending on how much um, damage they've got to their caravan um, and uh, loss of battery if they can't afford to not only fix their caravan but also buy a battery we're going to donate that new battery that I bought and we're going to keep the one that Venomator um, donated to us now that battery that I bought is um, it's brand spanking new it's still in the box um, and we've not touched it so I'm gonna find out and we're gonna donate it I feel sorry for the people that um, decided to go to the storage yard and steal people's property I really do feel sorry for them if this had been about 20 20 years ago um, yeah my outlook would have been a, a totally different thing um, but I've mellowed as I've got older my wife will probably say no I haven't but yes I have I feel like I have um, so I uh, both me and Sarah feel really sorry for these people that they would have to stoop to basically pinching other people's stuff um, what more can I say um, you know these people obviously decided that you know whatever they earned obviously it's not enough for them to live on so they have to go out and steal um, maybe it's because they've not got enough money to put food on the table so if that's the case then they're very welcome to it as long as their children eat properly and I mean that I do mean that if they're doing it because they've not got money because the children need to eat fine fine absolutely fine 
I can't believe I'm saying that, but it, like I say, if it had been 20 years ago, I would have been going off my tree. I really would. Um, but you just gotta feel sorry for these people. I have spoke to my storage lady today, and uh, I'm not gonna say too much, but it's all in hand. Um, there's a lot of stuff I could tell you, but I'm not going to, uh, because it would jeopardize what's going on at the moment. So we're just turning into the storage yard. Um, we got a little bit of a drive up into the storage yard. Um, I'll open the gate. We'll get up to the uh, co uh, up to the caravan, and then we'll have a chat about that as well. Okay, so this is the battery that um, Venomator um, Rog he decided to um, give us uh, free of charge. Um, so we're going to put it on the uh, caravan. Um, I'll just show you exactly what they did to our caravan. Um, it was some, um, they've actually just sort of there, uh, that part of the lock is a little bit damaged, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, but the bit that they actually broke off um, was this part here. Uh, the end was broken. Um, so I had one of them spare uh, and I changed it. But apart from that, there's no other damage. And this is what I mean by the quick release uh, catches. So they just literally just undone them. So I left my screwdriver in there. They just undone them and um, took the battery out. I'm quite actually amazed that they even took the time to undo this, the battery safety belt. Um, you know, I would have thought that they would have just um, uh, cut them and, uh, you know, and um, with no disregard to anything else. But anyway, um, let's get this battery on. I can hear that my security um, is beeping in the caravan. So let's get this battery on. Okay, I put the battery in, that's all in. That, um, the only thing is, is uh, I just realized, but uh, my bracket that holds the strap on <laughs> is uh, broken there. So uh, I'll have to get a new one of them. In fact, uh, I'll be honest, I just did it uh, trying to put it in. So, but anyway, that's all in there. Um, it's all um, terminal, terminaled up. The solar panel is on. I will show you that in a moment because there is a problem with it. Um, this is the bit that actually broke. Um, so if you can imagine, uh, that's the part. Hang on, let me just show you. So that's the part there. And then this part goes on there or that, that, that way round. When I can get it, that goes that way round. So what they've done is, um, where this has been shut like that they have put a, a bar or something in here they've not marked it at all um, and they've levered it down um, and that's just given up the ghost we'll lock that up in a minute um, what I will show you is hopefully the um, charger is it's all charging hopefully so let's just uh, check on that uh, yep that is that's 12.8 volts. That's exactly how it was when Rog gave it to me. So that's good. That uh, just goes to show you it's a good battery. Um, I must admit, it did sit in my car, in my lorry uh, for a few days until I, I actually met up with Rog, uh, after I met up with Rog. So, my solar panel, um, they actually broke the back leg off, which is underneath there. Uh, it's unplugged at the moment. I have been messing around with it while I was putting that battery on. Ironically, this battery here, which I was using to keep the back of the solar panel planted on the ground so the wind didn't disturb it, they left it. Didn't bother taking it, they left it. How about that? But uh, anyway, I've got to fix the, uh, I've got to fix that. So we'll get that fixed. But um, for the most part, uh, with this caravan, um, everything is fine, absolutely fine. Um, I mean, we're not going to let it dampen our spirits. Um, like I say, we forgive them and uh, we'll just get on with it. And uh, that battery hopefully will have a long life inside that compartment. Uh, everything else about the caravan is absolutely fine. Um, yep, she needs a wash. We're going to take her home and wash her before we go away Christmas time. So anyway, we've put that battery on. That's all working fine. 
Um, like I say, it's not worth showing you any more about the storage yard and what other people have uh, uh, had to endure down here. You know, it's um, it's uh, mis miserable enough. Um, fortunately, I have a YouTube channel and one of uh, my subscribers, Venomator, Rog, as I know him, uh, reached out and uh, donated this battery. And, uh, you know, Roger can't thank you enough. I really do appreciate it. And like I say, anyone who knows Rog, um, please give him some love in the uh, description down below in the comments. Um, but yeah, uh, as regard to the um, security here, the security is all going to get ramped up now. In fact, I'm looking down, I'm just looking down there, and we've already got new CCTV cameras up. Look at that, I didn't notice that. We've got new CCTV cameras gone up. Well, that I didn't, I, honestly, I, I genuinely didn't know that. I've just looked over there and seen them. So anyway, I'm going to go and have a talk with our uh, storage lady. Anyway, I hope you found this informative. Please give Rog some love. He's a really nice fella. He deserves it. Uh, like I say, I'm going to find out who um, needs a new battery or, you know, the amount of damage they've had to their caravan or, you know, and um, see if they would uh, like this new battery that I've got. So we'll leave it there, I think. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.